Hi there, so uh, today I was just bringing on a video uh, for an Audi EGR valve uh, fault issue. So the, um, the diagnostic message that came up was suggesting an issue on the engine for an insufficient flow rate of the EGR gases. Now, of course, the main EGR valve is sat at the back of the engine and it's a lot more difficult to get a hold of. Um, so what I thought I'd do is just share a quick video that I've done uh, here just on a find that I've got uh, on the valve at the front here on the throttle body housing, which has the EGR pipe coming in. And a simple test you can carry out is this line here that comes into this actuator, this diaphragm, sorry. Um, if you just pop that pipe off, okay, so just move that away. And then you can use what's called a mighty vac gauge and if you just slide that down and just pop it onto the same connection as that vacuum pipe and then as you pump the actual vac gauge what you should see is the needle creeping round now of course as you can see that's not happening which would suggest obviously a fault with that diaphragm so i've got a spare unit here and what you should see so that you can test this diaphragm in here to check the flow rate is that again when you pump that vacuum gauge what you should be seeing is a vacuum that's actually created on the EGR valve inside this housing and what that actually does is that moves this small rod inside so if I just vacuum that again what you'll see is the valve actually moving up and that's what is controlled by this diaphragm inside. Now, of course, what's not happening is that the original one that's on the car, the diaphragm isn't actually working, which isn't opening the valve. And that's for this EGR gas to be sent back in and recirculated from the exhaust manifold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this out with this as I know it's faulty. And it's just a quick suggestion that if you do have an EGR and an insufficient flow rate on your Audi or Volkswagen, uh, just a quick and much easier thing to test is to just come onto this actuator, pop this pipe off, and just make sure that you've got vacuum that's actually able to be drawn here. If you have, then you know that that's operating and the actuator's good. Uh, if not, then you can go on to further diagnose the fault on the vehicle. But it's just a nice uh, quick how-to on uh, test on that throttle body housing there. And I hope it was really helpful. Um, thanks very much for watching.